Hey beauties! Today I have a very special guest. We don't fit in the frame together because he clearly is way too tall. I've always said, babe, what if I was this short? <laughs> Imagine. Did you see what my husband is wearing? Please stand up. Oh. You know, this got, is his daily uniform. You got my hoodie on. I Ugh. told him he needs to have Nike socks, a couple different outfits on deck. So we went to Marshall's, did a little men's haul, and I'm gonna style him up. We have a lot of outfits to get through, so oh let's go ahead and get started. If you are new here, my name is Deandra and I post lots of fashion and beauty content. This is my husband, Josh. He makes the occasional appearance. You guys always get a good laugh when he is on my channel, so. We have fun. We're gonna have fun today. Yeah, we are. Let's get into this men's Marshalls Hall happy dance. Boom! No, we happy dance. Oh. We got shitty. <laughs> Let me just say that everything that I'm putting him in is in his comfort zone. You did actually help me shop for this. I wanted to style outfits that he actually would wear. All right, so what do you think about the first outfit? I like it. Would you ever put these items together? Oh, it's absolutely. <laughs> Please. Let me just pan the camera down for you. Put your leg up like this. <laughs> That's how the Instagram girls do it. Show them the back. <laughs> no, the graphic, not your oh, butt. <laughs> is there a graphic on the back? Yeah, it's an astronaut. Oh. Okay, is it so. In the ocean? <laughs> no, it's in space. Nice. But it's all neon. It's cool. So, you picked out this NASA shirt, and I picked out the camo shorts. I like the pop of color with the print. What do you rate this out of 10? I give it a solid nine. <laughs> okay. I think the reason you're rating it a nine though is because the shorts are short. Yeah, I you honestly- prefer them a little longer. I'd, I'd probably have these another inch or two longer. I like you in short shorts, oh, okay? I, I <laughs> okay, next outfit. We've always had this thing about Josh liking light jeans. I don't know why I say I don't like light jeans because I'm literally wearing light jeans right now. I just don't necessarily like them. On I, it's not that I don't- <laughs> On it's, guys. Yeah. On your husband. <laughs> it's not that I don't like them. I just think that a darker denim looks a little bit more dressed up and put together. This is literally what I would wear if I'm like chopping wood. <laughs> yeah. So I just did the green and blue plaid open with a graphic underneath. I did try to match the graphic with the plaid. So then we just did a darker pair of boots. What do you rate this one? I rate this a 10 for sure. The thing is that Josh doesn't necessarily remember to layer because he would definitely match this all together himself. Like if we add a jacket over top of this, then he's getting a little bit extra with the pop of plaid over the jacket and the graphic tee still. That's where you bring in all three of them and then you have- Have a nice little fun outfit. Yeah, exactly. I feel like this one might be a little out of the comfort zone. Is this too edgy for you? Mm, I think border, <laughs> like on the borderline fence. It's too edgy. I think it looks so good. This is such a good outfit. Okay, so this, Camo, I think you're not liking the shirt because of the collar. Yeah. How it's not ironed and he does I'd like have them. this. I'd have the shirt ironed for sure. Yeah, with the buttons. Yeah, but we just threw this on because yeah. honestly, I just pulled this out of his closet real quick because I like the shirt and you never wear it. So yeah. I wanted to style it since it's something he already had but never wears. I can see why though because there's those certain things that there is about this shirt that you don't like. But I do like the button up with his black jeans, a pop of red in the cap. You could totally do like a black hat and then I did throw on his vans. I'm really digging this outfit. If it's cold outside you could totally just throw on a black vest. <laughs> struggle. So what do you rate this one? Uh, I would say man I would say I'm about at somewhere between a five and a six. Okay. 
but, but like picture out. yourself at a bar with our friends in downtown Fort Worth or downtown Dallas. Give it a couple extra points. Okay, okay. Maybe like a seven. Seven? seven you gotta put yourself in those scenarios sometimes. Seven. Okay, we're back in the comfort zone. He's already said this is a good outfit. This so. is him, straight up. Yeah, okay, thank already. you. I died when I found this brown North Face at Marshall's. Such a good find. It's a $125, $150 vest. I love this camel color. I paired it with the green because I picture us going to like a Christmas tree farm in this, taking some Christmas pictures. Chop it, wood. <laughs> I'm the wood chopper in these parts. Even just like Christmas family photos. We just threw on the cowboy boots, but I love this color combo with the forest green and the camel. This is by Paper Denim and Cloth. It feels really good. I found good. this at Marshall's. It's so soft. It's soft, it's stretchy. I think we're out of the comfort zone. I don't think you're very edgy. I'm not an edgy. You're I'm not, not as edgy, edgy but, person. But you like your vans. I do I like my like vans. vans are more edgy. What are these called? Joggers. Joggers, pretty damn comfortable. <laughs> I can see myself but lounging around. You have these. to be a little bit edgy when you're wearing vans. I gotta be like. edgy if I have to deal with you. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Especially you and black hair. <laughs> I do feel more edgy with the black hair. I love my grunt style shirts. I got like 20, 30 of these things, so. Yeah, and you, it these. literally always wears them with gym shorts. See what I mean? Like you gotta be kind of edgy when you're wearing the Vans. How do you rate this though? This one's somewhere between a seven and a half and an eight. Okay. Somewhere in that range. <laughs> But what if in real life you're like, what do I wear? And I pick this out for you, what would you do? I would just would go with it. it. I would just go with it just so we could get out the door. I feel like this outfit's very similar to the green with the tan, but of course you have your classic buffalo plaid and your classic black puffer vest. I did a darker jean. A I darker, think, tighter jean. I just think it looks more dressy. Did just a classic men's boot. You could also do cowboy boots, I think would look good. Um, but yeah, this is a good Christmas Eve outfit, Thanksgiving outfit. I do also have this more Christmassy plaid, which I was gonna style with the tan until I realized it basically is the same outfit as this. You could also use some sort of like camel jacket if you're not wanting to do a vest. It's an easy, everyone wins kind of outfit. Versatile outfit. Yeah. 10 out of 10. You can't go wrong one. with that outfit in the winter time. I'm comfy. It feels like me. We're back in the joggers, but it's because Josh has these tan vans that are so dope and he literally never wears them. So I wanted to style them for him. I really like this neon orange hat that he also never wears. I love this. This part right here is actually olive, which I think is so cool. So we paired it with the olive t-shirt. This actually is the softest t-shirt I've ever felt. This is by Ben Sherman, and we did find that on clearance at Marshall's. It has a great fit, and I really like this outfit. It's basic, it's in his comfort zone, but it's still trendy. If you're wanting a layer, you could do a green plaid. I think that looks good too, even with the pop of orange. I like it with the neutral hat, looks good. I'm liking this. What do you think about this? I like it, I it's do. It's not as edgy as the black outfit with the black. I think I would. Hands, right? I think I would wear this one over over the, the other one. This yeah. one, yeah, it doesn't feel as edgy. I feel like I can go still go choppy wood with this. <laughs> I, we went I to like Colorado it. with some friends, and Josh literally was outside chopping wood for three hours. And my friend was like, "Does he do this? Like, why is he out there chopping wood?" I'm like, "No, it literally." He does this even at home. He would chop wood Man, in the garage. Chopping wood is so therapeutic. It really is. Man. Oh my God. I love it so much. So when he says he would chop wood in this, like legit, picture him actually chopping wood in this. Like not, it's not just a no scenario. <laughs> you didn't tell him how, how good this outfit was. All right, all right. We already know this is a 10. This is a 10, right? I would say this is somewhere between a nine and a ten. Ten, ten. Somewhere between nine and ten. 
<laughs> for me. I know it's yeah, 10 Yeah, I like this one. Anything I put on my body, babe, is a 10. Of course, you look good in anything. Because I got style. <laughs> my style. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm obsessed with the 90 degree by Reflex leggings. And when I saw these joggers in the men's section by 90 degree by Reflex, I jumped on them. They're so nice and soft, lightweight, great quality. And they do also have these zippered pockets on the side, a functioning drawstring. Like they are so soft to the touch that I just wanted to style them for you guys and show y'all this pair of sweatpants because I'm telling you, they're nice. So he has an Adidas dry fit shirt underneath. So we paired it with his white Adidas gray sweatpants, easy grocery store outfit. That's still a little bit more stylish with the puffer vest. I love these vests because you can dress them up or down. I totally would do this camel puffer with a white undershirt, black joggers and black tennis shoes. I think that would look so good. I know you would totally wear this, but is this something you would put together on your own? I doubt it. I probably <laughs> would, I probably would put all this together, but I wouldn't I wouldn't think to put the vest with it, honestly. Yeah, Cause, or the only other thing that I would do is I would put a hoodie up with this. A hoodie, instead yeah. Instead of this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, so this makes it just a little bit more fashionable, more trendy than just throwing on a hoodie. Yeah. So what do you think about this outfit? I like this outfit. Or one to 10. I think this is a 10. I think, I think uh, it's a 10 for me too. What do you guys rate these outfits? Let us know down in the comments below. Thank you for being a good sport today. Anytime, boo. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.